is what gives us the, uh, an identity that would probably hold us quite strong in some ways. I suspect we might not have actually succeeded in Brexit without the identity of the monarchy that they give us. That's and I think, I think that's something to be very, very, very proud of. There are other countries in Scandinavia that have removed their royal family from, let's say, the, 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 all the privileges and the, and the ability to do nothing and just go on sort of uh, royal visits. And they are a functioning part of society. And for me, that's the, a lot of their identity has, 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 has gone because of it. And I think that's something we should, we should never lose and always appreciate. And I think actually Boris is riding on a little bit of that. I think he's riding a little bit of the, on the Queen's Britishness and identity because he is very British bulldog, uh, Winston Churchill supporter. He loves the, the whole history. What an insult of, to his memory, the, isn't it? What an well, I'm, I'm, not sure. I'm not sure. Is, is, is Boris Johnson, come, does he come originally from landed gentry, for example? So he comes from no. that sphere. All right. Um, he, no. but he, but he, did, he did go to Eton. An imposter. And, yeah, he did go to Eton and he, and he did come from that sort of sphere, um, you know, yeah, 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 in the last generation. That was Britain. He, he, if you look at what he did as, as mayor of London, you know, it, it, he was one of the only people that actually went to China, went to India and put London on the map. Uh, 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 as I, well, I would say, as a, as a proper mayor should do, and very proud of London and being British and London being the biggest city in in the UK, and he, he did something about it. It was very Boris esque, but it worked, and it's something that you still remember to this day. He was a great mayor, however you, however whatever criteria you want to use. He, for me, was a great mayor, and he's just carried elements of that into into his uh, um, into his prime ministership. Mm. I think. On that note. Well, we seem to have sort of skirted off the issue of the mental toughness and we're actually running out of time. So um, maybe we should actually wrap up, guys. Um, Theo, do you want to um, wrap us up quickly on just just t- touch on the mental toughness thing and things like this? And we can just go, we've got about a minute to go. I think, I, I think what the, the, the summary is simply um, take control of your own lives, ladies and gentlemen. Do not ever put up with someone who thinks they can tell you to put up with misery for some point of illusionary happiness in the future. Um, Don't enjoy the present at the cost of the future. Stay in control, do it all in context, and have a balanced, happy life with your close family and community. And be present with them. Okay, well, thanks, guys, for listening. Uh, And um, pleasure. We'll speak to you next week. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye-bye.